Hello good people, welcome to the Peasant Gamers, the channel where we evaluate free games from all genres and review its stats across a large selection of criteria. This video is a review of Kirchhoff's Revenge and could possibly contain footages with spoilers to the game. If you don't want that, then maybe you can check out our first impressions video, link down in the description below. Now then, let's get on with the review. Kirchhoff's Revenge is a free-to-play title on Steam that claims to be a simulation puzzle game. From our time playing the game, we found it to be an escape room type puzzle game, albeit without any time limit. However, mind you, the word puzzle game is pretty sketchy at best with this title and should be taken with a grain of salt. The game starts off as you, the player being abducted by Kirchhoff himself, the German physicist, to his lair. The objective of the game is to escape this prison by solving an electrical circuit puzzle aided by a female voiced AI program meant to apparently look after abducted people just like you. Solving each puzzle opens the door that takes you to the next room, until presumably to leave this electrifying prison. We never finish the game to tell you what happens at the end because, well, we lost interest in the game, as you shall soon find out. Contrary to our experiences, the game has gotten a surprisingly positive review on Steam. So here's the overall report on what the game is all about. First, let's look at what the game is as a program. The game is released as an indie game and is available free to play on Steam, coming in at just one gigabyte of the entire game. Despite the puny game size, the developers recommend PC hardware on par with an Intel i7, which seems to be pretty off base, considering that the game runs just fine even on low spec hardware. The game is available for download free on both Mac and Windows. There are no ads and promotions and loading time and cutscenes are both minimal, which is great. The game doesn't support controllers by design, which is unfortunate because the game feels like it could have worked out great with a controller. But if controller is something that you really really need, then you can always map controllers using the Steam client. Overall, the game runs okay without any horrible glitches or bugs. Next up, let's look at the actual game. Keep in mind that these review stats are subjective and we will rate it depending on whether the concept works out for this game in particular and not necessarily on the concept itself. Kirchhoff's Revenge is set in a 3D environment with a first person perspective. It may not be a deal breaker for many of you but for this game it feels like an unnecessary thing to and in fact ruins the experience because of the clunky mechanics. We felt like it would have been better as a 2D board game. The 3D nature of the game would have worked out if it had explored its 3D nature, which they haven't. There is no multiplayer support, which is a shame because it would have been fun to play with friends. The menu, the graphics quality and its controls are basic and rudimentary at best, but for this game it works out pretty well. The movement in the game is terrible and it's unnatural to say the best. Added to the 3D environment and a first person perspective, playing the game can give you a headache, literally. The controls are simple but the interactive mechanics combined with poor movement makes the game unpleasant to play. So thumbs down here. Storyline and progression is a basic linear and floor level design. It works out just fine for the game however. The game gets progressively more difficult and complex. You'd have to have a certain level of knowledge on electrical circuits and how circuit components interact with each other in order to complete some of the higher level stages. That said however. If you are good at electrical things and you're looking to test your knowledge on electrical circuitry, maybe you could consider muting the game and turning off the subtitles altogether because the voiceover hints can oftentimes give you the solution, which can be a bit annoying. So then, the game is a pretty good take on an educational, entertaining theme. It's an indie game and you still get a 3D game with high level educational puzzles. However, the combination of a single puzzle idea with an unutilized 3D space plagued with nauseating movements seems wasteful and inappropriate. If you're in need of an electrical puzzle game simulation and you have nothing else to do, then sure, go ahead, try the game. It's only one gigabyte, so download anyway. But if you're looking for an educational electrical circuit simulation program, there are plenty of free websites online where you can build and test infinite number of circuit layouts quickly and easily. And if you want a physics simulation puzzle game, then there are plenty better ones out there. That's going to be it for this review. If you have a game that you want us to check out or if you want us to add some review points, then let us know in the comments down below. 
If you like this video, give it a like. If you love what we do here, support us by subscribing to our channel. Click that notification button so that you don't miss out on anything. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one.